teacher today, if we're gonna like do uh, like 20 minutes of like warm up and vinyasa flow, then we're gonna do some chakras, and then at the end, if we have time, we're gonna do the uh, the lateral, the uh, gentle uh, poses on the uh, ground, and then <laughs> find resting place as well. So coming to a comfortable seated position, letting your legs feel like they're sinking down into the ground and your spine going up into the air like the branches of a tree. Engaging your bandhas, so pressing down into the pelvic floor, tightening your belly in and up, and then maybe bring your chin up a little bit like you're climbing a ladder. We're going to begin with three-part breathing. So, Inhale from your belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Exhale, chest, rib cage, belly. Continuing this breathing technique at your own speed. And if you feel like your back is slouching a little bit, try and correct it, come back to like bringing your shoulders back a little bit. sinking down, opening up right here, the serratus muscles, obliques. Good everyone, you all got it pretty well. See if you can like bring your head back a little and arm, yeah, there you go. All right, coming back, sweeping the arm the other way, second side. Opening up, so some of you might be like here with your shoulder a little forward, bring it up so that it's kind of like in parallel with the other shoulder. Breathing here, making the sound of the ocean through your nose. Try and do that throughout the whole class if you can. You'll be getting reminders here and there. Letting your head fall back. Slowly coming back to neutral. Inhale, bringing this first side arm up. Bringing it to the side of the head and then letting the weight of gravity bring your head over to this side, whatever this side means for you. Letting the shoulders come down the back. Don't bring the shoulders up to the ear. Bring the ear down the shoulders. Taking a few giant breaths here. Letting that go, coming to the other side. Letting the head come down. Feeling this is called the serratus muscle right here, and this is what we're opening up. Slow. 
slowly looking that down. Reaching this first side arm out to the side and bringing it back behind you. Taking this uh, other arm and bringing it over to the far elbow. I meant to the far knee and looking over to your shoulder. Check everyone's form. Yep, here you go. Yep, you all got it. Maybe breathe in a little deeper, take them a little tighter into the twist, a little deeper into it. Slowly letting those go, slowly working the way back to neutral. Now we're going to do the other side, so. This side, I think this mountain side, if I'm not mistaken. Or whatever is the opposite of what you did last time, bringing that hand back, taking this arm and bringing it to the far knee. Yeah. 
check everything out. Damien, you want an adjustment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. From here, slowly walking the feet to the hands, you know, and exhaling the fourth fold. Inhale, sweeping up. Bring your hands to heart center. Now we're going to do some salutations with the sun. So inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, swan diving. This is better for your back to do it this way. Bending your knees, stepping back. We will plank. Now we're going to do the easier version first. So knees, chest, and chin coming down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, tucking the toes, pushing back into down dog. Walking your feet to your hands. Exhale, four fold, inhale, sweep it up, swan dive. Exhale, chair, katasana. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, sweep it down, seven back, and do a plank. Now we're going to do, I'll show you the harder version. If you, I mean, it's been a long day, so I don't think you want to. But. Yeah, it's good. Okay. <laughs> coming down, halfway chaturanga. Flipping the feet, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Walking your feet to your hands, exhale, the full fold, let yourself hang here. Inhale, sweep it up, tighten your core, sit back, chair. Inhale up, exhale, just one dive down. Now I can show you one even harder version for those who are hardcore. Seven back like this. One leg up, coming down, inhale up. <laughs> Exhale, leg is already up. Step forward, seven the other one, exhale, move forward. Inhaling up, exhale, cheers. Inhale up, exhale. Coming down to a full step and back. Plank. Lowering down, maybe with your leg up. The hardest part is going into. <laughs> you don't have to do this, by the way. You can do the easiest version. It's not, it's not required for you to do the hardest one. Inhale, coming up. Exhale. Coming in. To a few moments of silence here. Now, stepping this foot back, first, let's say, call it the first side foot. Inhale, sweeping those arms up, letting the shoulders down, tightening your core. And remember, two tracks, so, so your foot comes down. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, we got it pretty well. Check it out in this form. All right, opening up into warrior two, looking down the front hands. Now this is a one track, so maybe bring the foot back a little, lift your hips and everything. Make sure to look down the, everybody's dancing. <laughs> now, bring that hand, that front hand up, and sweep it up. It's called Reverse Warrior. I think they would call it Peaceful Warrior, some people do. Make sure that knee is down. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Breathing here. Sweep it back into Warrior. Stepping back and then taking a vinyasa here, so you gotta remember these steps. Exhale. Walking your feet up. Now take your opposite foot back. Which I already forgot. Inhale. Sweep those arms up. Warrior one, tighten that core. Shoulders come down and back. You might want to do like some common cat motion. 
like this, and then you come to a neutral spot. You've got some kind of incorporating that dance over there. <laughs> okay. Sweep it out, turning that foot back, bringing that hip back and the shoulder back, moving on the front hand. Yep, over here. <laughs> yep. No, your head. Just your head. <laughs> switches before the brain, energy ascends the body's caduceus, where mystic chakras wheel on the spine. So, our first chakra is the, this one right here. It's called the Muladhara chakra. It's uh, four petals. It looks pretty much like that. It has like a Shiva lingam and the energy, the Kundalini energy goes up from it, and the energy is dirt. Now I'll show you the pose for it. Uh, so everyone can come up. <laughs> this is called a uh, tree pose. So this is for the first shot. So you can probably have your foot here, here. Avoid the knee. You can. No, but <laughs> There's some controversy about that. <laughs> and I sometimes when I do this, I like to do like karate kid style. <laughs> And you can like focus on the first chakra while you're doing this. All right, shaking it out. So the other side. So we're gonna. Either, most of you are either here or up here, so I won't even mention the, the lowest one. And then slowly getting some, <laughs> slowly getting some tree branches. <sighs> Pressing forward, it put it down into the foot, that's called the padabanda, and tightening the core to help you balance. <laughs> so there it is. There you go. Yeah, turn it up a little bit. Thank you. All right. Everyone coming to a comfortable seated position now. We're gonna oh, we're gonna do a chant for the root chakra. So I usually do like pranayama in one position right here, and we're gonna chant lung three times. While focusing on the first chakra, just try and visualize that chakra at the base of the spine. And before actually before we do this, I'm going to do the uh, poem for it. Root support, familiar as a home, red four petals by the tailbone, kundalini wrapped around the spine, begins the current riding of the spine. 
So coming to a comfortable seated position, focusing on the root, and we're going to chant LUM. Inhale, LUM. Releasing that. Now coming to the other side. So straightening the right leg, grabbing hold of the left, bringing the foot over to the side, reaching the right arm around the left knee, looking over the far shoulder, twisting. The twist is good for your digestion. Slowly come back to the neutral spine. Bringing your legs into Sukhasana or any other seated position you want. Bringing your hands into your lap and we're going to chant VAM. So inhale, VAM. Visualize 
at that spot, this chakra, while I chant. Kundalini Aranam Kundalini Aranam Kundalini Aranam So now, the next fire, the fire chakra, Swat is the, the uh, Manapura chakra. The poem that I wrote is lustrous gem, emanating fire, lightning in the guts, a risen warrior, vital flaming its ten yellow petals, healthy, brightly proudest flags. So coming up to standing position, we're gonna do Trikonasana, uh, which is also triangle pose. So we're gonna be doing the uh, two tracks on this. Inhale, reaching forward. Reaching down, and you're right. You need a modification. <laughs> Maybe come up a little higher. Yeah, is that better? Okay, good. Breathing here. Try and staff these. Taking some Ujjayi breaths. And now, slowly coming down to seated position. So the uh, chant for this is Ram. Inhale. Thank you. 
comfortable seated position. Bringing your hands gently in your lap, and we're going to chant Yum. Inhale, Yum.
slowly pushing yourself up. Come into a comfortable seated position. Now the chant for this is OM. <laughs> so, inhale, Sitting in a comfortable seated position. If you want, you can engage your bandhas here, which are there to protect your uh, spine. So now we're going to chant. It's a little bit complicated. It's Agum Sati Maum. So if you don't remember it, you can always just listen to me, and I'll just do it, and you can just listen. Agum Sati Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, if you practice this a lot, you'll be able to start feeling energized. So we have 15 minutes left, so we can do some more poses now. <laughs> No, not that much. <laughs> we do a, a few things. Actually, we'll do back stuff, working towards Shabbat. So come into your back, knees up, grab and hold of your right knee, bring your left leg straight out along the floor, pull it to you. I never tell the classes what this pose is because it's wind relieving pose. <laughs> I never I never mention the name. Amy, just tilt it up and 
lift up those legs. You don't have to do it, how do you like that? You like the super fish mm -hmm. variations? <laughs> Think of the intent. <sighs> Now, we're going to get ready for Shavasana. So we just do taking the legs, bending them both, bringing them over to the right side, over to the left, windshield wiping them back and forth. Whatever pose you want to do finally to end this practice, something that you, we missed. We had some Pilates over there. <laughs> Maybe something that we missed that you wanted. So now for a final song of victory in the chariots of fire.
one can begin wiggling their fingers and their toes. Rolling to one side, bending your knees. If somebody wants to share, uh, like maybe an experience or have a question, anyone about the chakras or about anything else, poses in general, <laughs> anyone have anything? I have a question. Okay. What is Kundalini? It's like a like divine energy. It's kind of a it's a name of a kind of an energy that goes up the spine. And what's the complete place you're saying? Aruna something? Arohanam is like a rise. So it's like energy arrives. Right. It's kind of like an awkward translation. Yes? Suppose uh, like supposedly like thousands of years ago, people were like they were familiar with the chakras and they were like around the fire and like making all these different sounds, and those were the sounds that made the chakras. According to legend. Okay. Do you mean to hear them in their body? Or? Yeah, they like they would feel their body, like the shock in their body when they made a certain sound, and they'd say, oh, that's the sound of the shock. That's like yoga lore from a long time ago. <laughs> I really enjoyed this workshop so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you.